So trauma happens at the visceral level, and that's where it has to be dissolved. It's not about thinking or talking about it. It is about feeling it and processing it at a visceral level or the remnants of it. That's right. Other ones. And, and they, but they're still invisible many times. Yeah. I would say that reminds me of how many times I've had people with, um, especially with violence and physical abuse or sexual abuse, that they've spent decades talking about that and still being in the trauma of that and how often it comes up that the real the bigger trauma that they discover in their work and that they do the healing on is the safe base that could have and should have and would have been there if only and mm -hmm. so they discover the the lack of a safe base and it's someone else not the perpetrator and not the abuser that they haven't dealt with that someone else could have or should have given them safety and that lack of a safe base is what gets uncovered and that they'd never discovered that because they were going after the what you would think is the bigger problem right yeah. and that it, actually there is research now related to that even though we have learned it through exp client experiences mm -hmm. uh working with vets or like i worked with somebody uh that was at the uh finish line of Mar boston marathon bombing and but when we did their rem session they went back to a childhood of experience where they stopped trusting themselves and um so that that was where they became vulnerable to having the trauma have a greater influence because yeah. people respond very differently to different traumas um it's actually called the halen effect when uh somebody responds to a medical treatment went really well and somebody else doesn't uh you know that these are things we that are idiosyncratic is what I would say.